In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up international shipping rates on your Shopify store. And these are the things that we are going to cover. First, how to add different markets to your Shopify store. Second, what are the different types of shipping rates available within Shopify. Third, how to set up these shipping rates within Shopify and how to have different shipping rates per country and even per product. And I'm going to finish this video by giving you some tips about how to price your shipping so it doesn't affect your store conversion rate, but even better, how to price your shipping in a way to increase your store or average order value and improve your conversion rate. So are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is to set up your markets. From your Shopify dashboard, I want you to go to settings, next to markets. And as you can see, I have already two markets set up, but in order to add more markets, all I need to do is to click on create market. And in here, I need to name my new market. So let's say it's United Kingdom. And from here, I need to search for it. and click on add market. So this is my new market and I can define the language, product pricing and so on. And as you can see, it's still not active because I don't have any shipping rates associated with this market. So I need to set up the shipping rates for UK so my customers can check out and can actually buy my products. The next thing I need to do is to go now to shipping and delivery. And from here, as you can see, by default, we have a general shipping rates profile with all the products within this profile. So by doing this, I'm actually setting up the same shipping rates for all of my products. I will show you later in a few minutes how we can set up different shipping rates for different products. Let me click in here. And as you can see, these are all of my products that are in here. And the next thing I need to do is to define my shipping zones. So I'm going to click on add shipping zone. So I will choose France and I will be setting up the shipping rates for France. Then I will click on add rates. In Shopify, we can set up shipping rates based on two rules only, either the order price or the order weight. And that's it. So as you can see in here, we have the rate type, which is flat rate. It means that I'm precising the exact amount of money my customers are going to pay for shipping. The other option would be to link your Shopify account to a shipping company and get the rates from them. I usually don't recommend this a lot because it means that shipping rates will be so different and your customers will be seeing like very high numbers. I like to keep the shipping rates under control. And this is something that we are going to talk about at the end of this video, because shipping rates can greatly affect your store conversion rate. So you need to be very cautious while you are setting up your shipping rate. So I'm going to go with use flat rates. And I will keep this as it is in here. I want to name this rate and I'm going to call it standard delivery. Let's put two days. And in here, I will be defining the price. When you click on add conditional pricing, you are giving Shopify rules of how much you want your customers to pay for shipping, depending on, again, either of two things, either the item weight or the order price. So let's say, for example, I want to offer free shipping for all orders above $200. What I need to do in here, I will put the price for shipping and I will tell Shopify that for anything between zero and 199, the shipping is 10 and I will click on done. So in this way, when someone is checking out on my store and their order value is less than $200, they will be paying $10 for shipping. Now I need to set up the free shipping rule. I will call it free shipping. And in here I will keep the zero, but as a rule, the based order price should be 200. This is the minimum. So if someone is checking out and their order value is above $200 or $200, they won't be paying for shipping. And you click on done. So in this way, we have set up the shipping rates for France. So customers in France can check out and buy our products. We need to do the same for all the different markets that we have. We we'll click on save. And in here, all you need to do is to click on add shipping zones and you select, for example, United Kingdom, and you set up your shipping rates with the same logic we have used for France, and that's it. Now let's say you sell different types of products on your store, and some of your products have higher shipping rates than other products. In this case, you need to set up different shipping rates per product, even per market. So how you can do that? Let me show you. In here again, you go to shipping and delivery, but this time you click on create a custom profile. And let's call it, for example, special item. So the next thing that you need to do is to add your products, which products are going to be under this specific shipping profile. So let's say this is the product 
where I would have like different shipping rates. I will select this product. And now I will be setting up the shipping rates for this product only. I will go again in here, click shipping zone. And as you can see, I can have the same rules for all the markets all at once if I have similar shipping rates. So for example, if France and UK have the same rates, I can choose them both at the same time and call this one, for example, Europe and go with, with it. And in here, I need to add rates and I add the rates in the same way I have added the rates before. Although the technical part of setting up shipping rates is easy and straightforward, but choosing how much you are going to make your customers pay for shipping is super important and it can greatly affect your store conversion rate. If someone is buying a product for $100 and you made them pay $30 for shipping, most probably they are not going to buy the product. So you need always to keep in mind that the shipping rate should be low logical compared to the product price, even if this means increasing the product price in order to eat some of the shipping costs. So let's say, for example, you are located in the UAE and your shipping rates for uh, France is $20 and your product price is $60. I prefer if you increase your product price to $70 and instead of making your customers pay $20, you make them pay only $10 on shipping. This is extremely important because when your potential customers reach the checkout, if they see a very huge shipping rate cost, most of probably they are not going to check out and this is going to directly affect your conversion rate and your whole business profit and revenues. So always use flat shipping rates so you have full control over how much your customers are paying for shipping and take a part of the shipping cost and embed it directly within your product price. It's way easier to convince someone to pay $70 to buy a product and $10 for shipping in comparison with convincing someone to pay $60 for the product and $20 for the shipping. Somehow paying for shipping seems pointless because it's not something tangible. We are not getting something out of it. The second thing that you need to keep in mind when it comes to shipping, that the best case scenario ever is to offer free shipping on all orders. Free shipping is something that will directly increase your store conversion rate. But I understand that for some businesses, this is going to be difficult. So in this case, what I recommend you to do is to offer free shipping with conditions. And this is going to even help you to increase your store average order value. So what you need to do is to go now to your Shopify dashboard and to check your average order value. If on average, a customer spends like $35 on your store, what you need to do is to set up free shipping for an amount that's slightly higher than your average order value. So your average order value is $30, set up free shipping for any order above, for example, $50 or $55. And in this way, you will be pushing your customers towards spending more in order to get the free shipping. Remember, paying for shipping feels like paying for something that doesn't exist. So it's not easy, but paying a little bit extra and buying a product to get the free shipping is always something smart that customers will choose. And the last thing that I wanted to keep in mind is to never forget to set up shipping rates to any market. This is actually something that happened before with one of my clients. They forgot to set up shipping rates for UK and they ended up not receiving any orders from there and they didn't know why. So always make sure that all your products are within shipping profiles with active shipping rates. This is super important to make sure that anyone, anyone from your target markets can access your products and can actually check out and buy them. So that's it for today's video. Now you have your international shipping rates set up and your store ready to sell in any country. But guess what? If you are selling in different countries where people speak different languages, it's better to have your store in the country's language. So if you are selling in France, for example, having the store in French is super important. If you want to know how you can customize your store per country, not only change the language, but even change the appearance, the look, the images, every everything in your store for free using Shopify native tools, check this video on my YouTube channel where I show you how you can set up a multi-language store and have your store different and unique per country. So see you there.